the metropolis of the Western world. To the visitor who comes by land, by air, or from the sea, a romantic panorama of towering spires and massive structures. A great city, a monument to man's imagination, testimony to his achievement. The home of six million people, it is also the financial and commercial capital of the entire world. Throughout the five counties which comprise New York City, evidence may be seen of the permanent improvements brought about by a great program which has removed thousands from relief roads. On Governor's Island, at the tip of Manhattan, important roads have been built and several buildings have been reconstructed. At the Brooklyn Navy Yard, a number of roads have been constructed and shops and warehouses are being built or improved. In this project, WPA labor is used and funds and materials are provided by the Navy Department. At Sheepshead Bay in Brooklyn, improvements have been undertaken in which are combined many of the important features of the works program. An area which was formerly undeveloped is the scene of a project in which employment is provided for both skilled and unskilled workers. A long bulkhead was built to reclaim land from the waters of the bay. The sanitary facilities of the area were greatly improved by the extension and reconstruction of sewers. A boulevard is being constructed on the new land filled in behind the bulkhead. As traffic in the city has become increasingly heavy, the streetcar lines in operation for years have given way to more flexible systems of transportation. In Manhattan alone, over 40 miles of track have been removed by WPA laborers. As part of an extensive park development program, 11 large swimming pools are being provided for public use and completely equipped bathhouses are under construction to make the pools accessible to thousands of New Yorkers. The demolition of buildings along the path of the new East River Drive has been completed and sewers, water mains and electric conduits have been reconstructed. This project now continues with the construction of two three-lane highways flanked by broad sidewalks and landscaped parks. The program of civic improvement has been advanced by this project which will provide a new traffic artery along the East River from Grand Street to 14th Street. Eventually the drive will connect with the Triborough Bridge at 125th Street. The New York Public Library is one of the greatest collections of literary treasures in the world. When the imposing central branch was erected many years ago, it was provided with a copper roof which has recently become dangerously corroded. The works program has undertaken to construct a new roof of non-corroding metal and to rebuild the heating system as part of a project to repair and improve the building and its equipment. Extensive and important improvements have been made under the works program at Floyd Bennett Airport on Jamaica Bay in Brooklyn. Air transport facilities have been increased with adequate provision for the largest land and sea planes. Many novel devices such as this ingenious turntable have been provided, but most of the work has been basic construction. Machine shops have been constructed, the main heating plant was rebuilt, concrete runways were laid, and radio beacons and lighting facilities are being completed. New York City has never heretofore had a first-class airport which satisfied the requirements of the government for air, mail, and passenger use. When this project is finished, Floyd Bennett Airport will receive a Class A rating from the Department of Commerce. Air taxi service from Manhattan Island to Floyd Bennett and other airports in the metropolitan area has been made possible by the construction of two skyports on the East River. One is located at 31st Street and another at Wall Street. As an aid to city planning, a great scale model of the metropolitan area is being constructed by architects, artists, professional workers, and technicians removed by WPA from relief rolls. In this model, built in cooperation with New York University, each individual building in Greater New York is reproduced in miniature. With this type of assembly, changes brought about by city development will be accurately reflected. Relief maps are also being made by the Cartographic Survey for educational use. In a federal art project, sculpture is being produced for schools and public buildings. Under the works program, artists, actors, writers and musicians contribute their share to the cultural development of the community. To make books more readily available, WPA has increased the staffs of free libraries. The highly specialized art of creating stained glass windows mastered by a few artists in the world is fostered by WPA and windows for the United States Military Academy at West Point. Here too a vast mural painting has been completed. The works program has sponsored symphony orchestras and band concerts. Artists under the works program make New York a better place in which to live.
The Federal Theatre Project, which has provided employment for hundreds of professionals, has produced a number of successful plays and entertainments. It has been repeatedly said that new life was injected into the fading American theatre by the stage productions of WPA. With the cooperation of various city departments and under the sponsorship of the Crime Prevention Bureau of the Police Department, a number of city streets have been set aside for the use of the children of New York. Safe from the perils of crowded traffic thoroughfares, the youngsters are watchfully supervised by trained instructors removed from relief rolls. Every kind of game you could possibly imagine is provided, and at some of the play streets, the children are given handicraft instruction. Civic authorities highly approve these play street projects, which keep the children away from the many dangers of unsupervised play. A new idea in bringing happiness to underprivileged children is the toyery, which has been established as an experiment at the Heckscher Foundation. The toyery works just like a lending library. A large supply of toys is kept on hand, and the youngsters are allowed to borrow one at a time. Hundreds of young children find their dreams brought to life in this novel enterprise. In cooperation with the Board of Education, a remedial program has been inaugurated. In this particular class, children who are unable to read fluently are instructed until they may be returned to their regular classes. In Long Island City, a kitchen is operated in which women who are the breadwinners for their families are given part-time employment. Here, school lunches are prepared for children of needy families and distributed to about 800 schools in New York City. Elsewhere, thousands of women have found work in sewing rooms and hundreds of girls have enrolled in household training courses under WPA instruction. In 20-day nurseries located in five boroughs of the city, children of needy or working mothers are provided with hot meals, supervised play activities, medical attention, and excellent preschool training under competent WPA attendants. These nursery schools are part of a broad educational program in which WPA has helped millions of children and adults. In the knowledge that we are providing healthy bodies and sound minds for our future citizens, as well as in the more concrete construction projects, we find assurance that we are building a firm foundation for a bright future. Long after depression is forgotten, these permanent improvements will remain as part of a better New York.